Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I am reviewing another brand new Bondi Sands self tanner because I was just so obsessed with the other shade or undertone, I guess, that I tried. So I am back to try another one by popular demand. So today is gonna be all about the Bondi Sands Emerald for a deep olive tone. I was gonna do the caramel one, but a lot of you wanted me to try this one. So this is what I'm going with. So yeah, before we do get started on just the details, trying it out, make sure to give this video a like for me and please subscribe to the channel, you guys. If you like anything that has to do with tanning or with makeup, then this is the channel for you. Please make sure that you're subscribed, but if you wanna see me review this one, stay tuned for the rest of the video. Okay guys, this video is extra special because I tried the, or one of the other versions of this a couple weeks back, and so many of you were requesting this one to try. I was gonna do the caramel because you know I love my like true golden brown undertones, but you guys wanted this, so this is what I'm giving you. But it's special because the only difference between this and the one that I did try is like the undertone that it gives so i can give you some updates on like how it wore throughout the week how it faded blah 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 so i can give you guys some of that that you're always asking for so i'm super happy and that's what i want to start with so i don't forget later in the video so i do want to say a lot of you were asking like how it fades how it wears throughout the week how it lasts i love how this wears throughout the week you guys like I'm not gonna lie it's not as dark obviously later in the week like the more you wear it the lighter it is of course as it is with every other self tanner but I feel like it really really does last a whole week like a whole seven days on me without moisturizing my skin because I'm so bad I know I need to be better about it but I'm so bad about moisturizing my body throughout the week it did not matter with this like it still looked amazing every day and it faded so evenly you guys i do not remember the last time i tried a self tanner that faded this beautifully throughout the week like i genuinely feel like it faded into nothing like it looks like i don't have a fake tan on it's insane so it fades really really beautifully you don't get splotchy patchy gross nothing like that it's so natural looking all throughout the week. It wears so beautifully. I was getting so many compliments when I was wearing the other one. So I'm sure it's going to be the same thing with this. But yeah, I can tell you with confidence, the couple times that I wore the other one, I love it. Love it, love it, love how it wears throughout the week. So anyways, I have it pulled up again on Ulta so I can read you guys the details about this one. It's gonna be similar to the other one, of course. It's just a different shade, but I wanna show you the whole process. So it is the Technicolor One Hour Express Self Tanning Foam from Bondi Sands. And I'm sorry if I forgot to mention that in the intro. Now that I'm thinking about it, I don't even think I told you guys what self tanner we're doing, or maybe I'm going crazy, I don't know. But yeah, it's Bondi Sands. It's the new Technicolor line, and this one is in emerald so it's for a deep olive tone which a lot of you guys love so that's what i'm doing and again i tried magenta last time and there's two left so i think there's like a sapphire and then there's caramel which i'm dying to try which is probably going to be my next one that i try it's 6.76 ounces which is standard size and it's 27 dollars. so i would say pretty standardish pricing but very good pricing especially because it's such a good product. Spoiler alert. Um, so the summary slash details here say that it's vegan, it's cruelty free. It says Bondi Sands Technicolor One Hour Express Self Tanning Foam has been carefully curated through cutting edge research, development, and laser skin analysis technology to deliver results that are perfectly matched to every skin tone. It says this one is for those with medium skin tones um it's scientifically scientifically developed in line with clinical trials for optimum results perfectly blending active ingredients hydration and color tone to best enhance your skin's tone and color longevity and then of course application wise it's pretty much the same as any other self tanner it just says that you can shower 
after one hour or for best results to leave it on for a minimum of three. As usual with these kinds of things, we are keeping it on all night long because I just think that gives me the best result. So I'm gonna definitely do more than three hours, but it does say it's an express self tan in case any of you are like in a hurry and you need something quick. This gives you that option. So another thing I really love about this is the shape. I mentioned that last time too. I like how it's not just like a round um, shape so it won't roll around on the table. Like you set it down like this if you want to and it just stays like that. Or obviously if you wanna keep it like this, it stays like that. I also love the fact that it twists, like the top of it twists to lock and unlock so it's less likely to make a mess which has happened to me way too many times to count you guys. And there's nothing worse than wasting like half of the product in a self tanner you love. So I love this. Like it just, there was a lot of thought put into this and I really, really appreciate that. So I absolutely love everything about this packaging wise, everything. I also love the fact that the magenta had like a purple to it. Like the top was purple. The wording was more purple. This one is a little bit more green because it's emerald. And then of course, like caramel and sapphire have their own colors too. So I do like that you could differentiate that way. And yeah, if it's anything like the other one, which I'm sure it's going to be exactly the same minus the color, I already know I'm going to love it. But of course I'm going to show you guys how to apply. So I am going to put this on for you guys. I have a facial self tanner on already, but yeah, I'm just going to start applying this, show you guys the process, and then we'll talk initial thoughts right after. So let's get started. All right, guys, I have applied everywhere I wanted to show you, and I am pleasantly surprised because obviously the first thing I was looking for with this was what is the undertone. I was expecting it to come off very, like, green because it's emerald. It's supposed to be, like, an olive undertone. So I was expecting to see a lot of green in the color guard, and I don't. <laughs> I see a lot of natural brown looking tan. So I'm shocked, but in a very good way. Like I really was not expecting this and I absolutely love the color that it's giving. I feel like this is exactly the kind of self tanner that I could put it on and then I wouldn't feel bad going out and doing errands looking like this because it looks very natural. Like this literally looks to me like what the end result would look like. So I absolutely love it. Same as the other one. If I'm remembering how I felt about the other one correctly, super easy to apply, super quick to apply. It felt really nice going on my skin. It spread out so nicely and so evenly. There's no streakiness, no blotchiness, no nothing. Like it all just looks very one. It's super comfortable. The only thing I will say with this one, I feel like last time I remember it being a little bit sticky even after I let it dry for a little bit and that's kind of what I'm getting from this too, but not so much. Like I feel like with this and maybe it's just I'm going crazy, it doesn't feel too sticky. Like I feel like especially in this area you can typically feel it and I do a little bit but it's not crazy bad. It's obviously not the most quick drying that I've tried but it's not horrible either. So just keep it in mind, it's not going to be like the quickest drying self tanner out there, but it is very comfortable. It looks stunning. The color guard completely took my breath away because I was not expecting it, but again, in the best way. Smell is the same as the last time. Just smells like any old Bondi Sands <laughs> self tanner, I guess is the best way to put it. Not too bad. It's like more on the subtle side, kind of goes away. So really nothing to be too happy or be too sad about. So yeah, so far I am very, very happy with this. I'm super excited to see what this ends up looking like tomorrow now because this I was not expecting. So I'm very excited to go sleep on this 
and then once I wake up in the morning I will wash it off I'll come back I will show you guys the final result and I'll let you know if I think it's worth your money so I will see you guys in the morning all right guys I am back here's the final product of what we did yesterday and I swear to God right now I am in so in love with just this whole line that Bondi Sands can do no wrong to me like I am just obsessed with how this turned out like just look for yourselves this is amazing you guys like this is a dark self tan it looks so natural like this literally to me looks like I walked off of a month-long beach vacation somewhere beautiful and I just love it so so much so I'm super super excited right now and then the other thing that I want to mention I feel like this is definitely a little bit more olivey toned than the one that I tried last time which was the magenta but I don't think this is too olive toned like I feel like I get kind of um turned off I guess when it comes to like too olivey toned self tanners and this is not doing that for me at all I feel like it's the perfect amount of having an oliviness to it without being too much for me like I still feel like this is giving me like a natural brown kind of self tan nowhere near being on the orange side but also nowhere near being too olive for me so I am absolutely in love with everything that this is giving me it turned out so beautiful it wore so comfortably throughout the night too like I just I kind of forgot that it was there at one point no really smell throughout the night or anything like that and then I woke up this morning to looking like a bronzed goddess so that's where I'm at I am just so so happy with how this turned out I'm really really happy I listened to you guys and tried the emerald one because I'm in love with this and I'm very curious now to see how this compares to the magenta one so maybe I should do like a little comparison between the two and see which one I like better which one you guys like better when you can see them like side by side and things like that and then of course now I'm gonna have to try the other two shades because of how perfectly these turned out it's just a must I don't have a choice I have to and that is that <laughs> and again this because I tried the other one a couple weeks ago I already know how this is gonna wear throughout the week it's beautiful you guys it fades so nicely throughout the week it looks natural all week long so everything about this is a plus the only thing that I will say is a negative even though I locked the top sorry my cat is going crazy even though I locked the top it's still leaking a little bit so just be careful that's literally the only downside everything else I'm in love I look so dark so natural so good so it's a big yes and that is it so comment and let me know what you guys think about how this looks on me let me know what other self tanners you guys want me to try or which ones you want me to compare just give me some ideas give this a big thumbs up and please subscribe to the channel but stay tuned and I will see you guys in the next video